Good morning and welcome. It's Saturday the 1st of October. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. All right, coming up today, we've got a steak and a half day again. So it was steak and a half yesterday, steak and a half again today, so £30 day. Um, before we do that, I'm going to very briefly mention uh, yesterday, which was uh, terrible. So I've been away for eight days. It's, it's, it, it's like I didn't do any warm-ups in it. Like I just came into it cold and uh, and like some horses after a break don't do well. Um, single-handedly, the worst day we've ever had on the channel was yesterday. Um, the previous Friday, two weeks before that, was the best Friday we've ever had or second best day or whatever it was. But yeah, £30 loss yesterday. Um, so, sorry, yeah, I should say that's the second worst day. Um so the, the worst day was a £34 loss in my first week of doing the channel um, on the Saturday of my first week of the channel way back at the beginning of January. And since then, the worst loss has been twenty five ninety eight. I checked back um, a, week, a, a day in July. Uh, but yeah, yesterday, £30 on, zero back, nothing close. We had, uh, we had, a, we had a horse that refused to start. We had an early faller. You're clutching at best. It, basically, they were they were poor across the board and massively didn't do what I expected. Um, you have days like that, but that that was a painful one. Thirty on, and um, so uh, respect the fact. I think nineteen people liked the review where I said I had an absolute shocker. So, you know, and that that just tells me there's a lot of people who've been watching a long time and get there's good days, there's bad days. Um, and if you judge me on one day yesterday and that's all you watched, you would think this is the worst channel in the world. Uh, fortunately, I've got a back catalogue uh, this year that says otherwise. But um, yeah, it was pretty bad. So I'm not even going to go through the, the, the results because nothing was close. So there's no point. Um, so not the way I wanted to come back from holiday. Not the way I wanted to end the month. We still end the month um, with a really nice profit um, because we had, some, we had some good days. So... Uh, it is what it is, right? That's that. Um, just, I guess, just a few house notices for anyone who is 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 new to the channel. It is a long term strategy. What I'm trying to do on here, what it, what I am doing on here. Um, so I always ask, only judge me on the long term. I'm not here to give you a list of credentials, CV, biggest wins I've ever had. I'm just here putting out my tips. And it, you take it or leave it. And all I ask you to do is judge me on my long term profit and loss. Main focuses of the channel are to try and make long-term profit and have a bit of fun with betting small stakes. Um, so I appreciate, you know, £20 a day average on here. That is more than some people um, would af afford because I'd always say bet what you can afford to lose. Um, in the long term, we are turning a nice profit on that. Um, so, and all the profit and loss is in the description. It's all super, super clear and transparent. Um, any questions you ever have about anything, you can ask them, whether that's a horse selection, why I've done a certain bet, you can shove it in the comments. It's all there. Um, so that's what I'm there to do. But clearly there's days like yesterday, it don't go well. Will today be better? Who knows? It's, it's, it's always bad when, when, the, when the ground changes, when it's sort of a bit in between and, and whatnot. It's easier when you know it's like solid, good to firm or very heavy. Um, anyway, today, um, it's a funny day today because there's a few races and meetings I've just not, I've not got involved in, um, which some people might expect. As a general rule, I don't like two-year-old races, um, uh, particularly you know, hand, like nursery handicaps or trophy races um, where they're on the same mark. I don't, generally don't like them um, because... Those sorts of horses can have significant improvements. Where you will see me get involved is is and I've got I've got one today, picking out unraced two year olds. Um, and uh, they, yeah, there was one while I was away, a nice one, um, which uh, but but doesn't matter because it wasn't on a video. Um, but yeah, there's um, that that's the only place I get involved with. So there's a few of those races I've walked past. There's a few others I just did I just didn't like. I just thought they were too open. I thought well, it was something to do with the betting structure. So, yeah, there's a few races where you might think on extra place terms, I'd got involved. I haven't gone there. Um, my main focus today is actually red car um, with a little dabble at a couple of Ascot races. And then I've got one other bet where I've put together a couple of Kalani horses, a new market horse and one at Longchamp. So tomorrow I'll be going big Longchamp. That'll be the main focus tomorrow for Art to Triumph Day. But today I went through and I found one horse at Longchamp. So, um 
yeah, I've not I've not done anything at Gorham Park today. Um, nothing at Fontwell today, and yeah, not much at Newmarket today. Not loads at Ascot. Um, yeah, just wasn't feeling. It. I haven't done anything in the evening at Wolverhampton. So yeah, there's there's no sort of evening saver bet or anything today. Anyway, stop chantering on. Here's what we got. We're starting here. Um, we've got three lucky 15s. We've got two combination bets and an each way trick see today. Um, and watch, I would say, for uh, betting uh, bookmaker terms because a lot of what I'm doing is red car. And at red car, 365, Paddy and Coral are mostly the same place terms as Sky, but you'll get bog. So for a lot of these bets, um, outside of the Ascot bets, I am advising 365, Paddy and Coral, 365, slightly better for prices. Um, so this is a lucky 15, just red car. 2.12, that's the first, only early horse. I think the next race after that's 3 o'clock or something. So 2.12, Dandy's Angel, 11 to 1. 4.32, just his 22s. 5.07, um, Fair Mac, 9 to 1. And 5.37, all be gone, 14 to 1. I think we've probably taken all of those horses previously before. So it's a 20p each way, lucky 15. As I said, 3.65, Paddy or Coral, I'm advising they last time i checked they were still going five on this last race when coral were not uh, so they were five on that and sky were not but sky were five on that and i'd rather have the fifth place and bog definitely than the fourth place on that race if you catch my drift so that's bet one bet two um is a combination doubles bet ascot um three o'clock ascot flaming rib 15 to two run to freedom 33 to one um i think that's Really quite overlooked in the market, that horse. Uh, 335, Accidental Agent, which we've taken before. Bit of a veteran. It's a really, really open race, that. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of going a little bit cautious, but I've I've gone for my two. So we've got Accidental Agent and we've got Orban. So you'll see that there does seem to be a lot of horses we've taken before today. Um, that wasn't deliberate. That's just, just where I've ended up. So four times 25p each way doubles. Sky are best. They're extra place on each of those races compared to any other bookie. So Sky are best for bet two. Then bet three is a combination two Ascot, two red car. And Sky are better because they're an extra place on the two Ascot races. They're the same with others on that one. Um, but this is the kind of lucky 15 that I know a lot of people get more excited about. Three o'clock Ascot run to freedom 33s. 3.36 Ascot Accidental Age at 28s, 3.57 Red Car Copper and 5 22s, 4.32 Red Car Hostelry 20s, 20p each way lucky 15. That is a very valuable bet if, uh, if, if we start getting stuff clicking on that one. Sky Advise has said, this is the non-Ascot Red Car Lucky 15. So I've done, it's a small estate Lucky 15. I've done a couple of doubles as well. Um, 365 are best because of prices then Paddy, Coral, Betfred all the same place terms as Sky but you'll get the bog on all the races as opposed to um, on two of them that you would get on Sky so the, the two Kalani races are four places so Sky wouldn't give you bog um, 305 Kalani, Secret Rock 18s 317 Newmarket, Kingsley Pride that's an unraced two year old only seven runners but I think it's worth a go um, 325 Longchamps, Casino is my only Longchamp horse, 18 to 1 in the Pre de Cadran. Uh, and then the 340 Kalani Turbulence 12, um, very apt for my, my journey back from Greece uh, on Thursday. 16p each way, lucky 15. So that's lucky 15 all four. And then I've got two doubles. One double is the Kalani's Secret Rock and Turbulence, that's a 35p each way double. And one double is the New Market Longchamp. Kingsley Pride and Casino. So 620 is bet four. Then just got um sort of this was a bit bit kind of these were left over, but I don't want to leave them out of other bets. So uh, bet five, 336, Ascot, all band 14 to 1, 357, that is I miswrote that, 357 red car, Royal Prospect at 50 to 1, 537 red car, Mukha at 12 to 1, 20p each way Trixie. That's each way doubles and trebles, and then 30p each way singles. Um, so what I'd advise on this one is um, Sky are an extra place on here, but 365 Paddy and Cora are an extra place on there. And on that basis with Bog, I'm saying 365 Paddy or Coral are best depending on prices. Um, so 
That it is that bet, that's 340. And then we're on to the last bet, which is the complicated bet, health warning. Complicated bet coming up. Okay, so I've done, I've, this, I say complicated, um, those of you who've been watching a while, I've done these bets before. Um, so it's like a, it's like a, a tapered uh, combination bet. So it's four horse, four races, eight horses, but we're not covering all permutations here. So we've got on all eight of these. So it's the 336 Ascot Accidental Agent and Orban, 357 Red Car Copper and Five Royal Prospect, 432 Red Car Hostelry Just Hiss, 537 Red Car All Be Gone and Mucker. So it's 16 times 10p each way four folds. So you put them, if you were doing it online, you put them all in the bet slip, all eight horses, you do 10p each way four folds, then you reuse selections and you delete the two Ascot ones, leaving yourself the six red car ones. And then that is eight times 10p each way trebles on those six. You reuse selections, you delete the 357, and that leaves you with the last two races where we've got four times 20p each way doubles. Um, so it's a total of 640 bet, 365 Paddy and Coral, because you get an extra place there, you're losing a place there, but you'll get bog across the board. Um, so it's quite a good day for Paddy, because Paddy are a bit funny on um, bog, uh, on, on now they're not doing all races, but they, most of the main meetings today, they are covered. So hopefully that's clear. Any questions, shove it in the comments. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's what I'd call a tapered combination bet, because I've, I've, I've lent on that race in other bets. That race... I really like those prices, but that race is really, really competitive. I would say more competitive than these two. Um, so there's a, you, you can argue a case for any single horse pretty much in that race. Um, it's a series final race. And when you get those series finals, they are are particularly competitive from a betting point of view. Um, so then I've, I've gone the doubles on there. So that's how I've tapered it down. Hopefully that makes sense. OK, that is today's bets. So I'll be back. I'm going to do a small video tonight. Uh, mainly focusing on long shom for tomorrow because tomorrow I'll be doing the London Marathon um, forecast drizzly brilliant just just what I wanted that's perfect all, hot all summer I've been trading in hot weather and then uh, drizzly for the day um, to be honest I I'll be happy to complete the marathon I've done, I've done one marathon before about eight years ago not London um, so I'm, it's the experience I just want to get around um, but I want to get around, but I, I definitely want to get under four and a half hours. Is is that's what I'm really aiming for. Um, so uh, if I, if I share, so for those of you who want to donate, you haven't done it yet. I think I'm well over six hundred pounds on my Just Giving page. The link is in the description, um, so it's completely optional. All the money goes to the Injured Jockeys Fund. Um, uh, yeah, and so yeah, that's that is something I'm doing tomorrow. So um, yeah, tomorrow's bets will be tonight. Then there won't be any video Sunday and then I'll be doing a, a video at some point on Monday morning. Um, it might be, I, mean, I don't know yet, but to pre-warn, it might either be a bit earlier than usual or it might be a bit later than usual. Um, but I've kind of got stuff on mid-morning um, and that is it. And then I'm looking at for the rest of the week, uh, again, just to give you a heads up, um, it's likely to be... Um, I think I'm likely to do, start doing more evening uh, evening videos. So um, yeah, I've, I've been looking at the schedule, um, and it's likely in in the week I might be doing a few, might be doing more evening and then doing morning on the weekends. But I will give you a bit more of an update on that one um, on Monday's video. All right, I'll leave it there. Enjoy your day. Can it be any worse than yesterday? No. It could be exactly the same worse as yesterday if nothing happens and we lose 30 quid. Um, but uh, but it can't be actually technically any worse than yesterday. So uh, fingers crossed uh, for, uh, for a good day um, and start October 1. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, and thanks for all the usual comments, likes, subscribes. Um, it's massively appreciated. It, it's what keeps me doing the channel. If people weren't watching, there'd be no point in me doing it because uh, I ain't going to just talk to myself. All right. Thanks very much. Enjoy your Saturday. Bye-bye.